Yo, 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 yaga, yo, 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 yaga, yo, 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 yo. We man say, we man say, let spray. I hope you lot are doing good. I hope you lot are doing amazing. I hope you lot are doing fantabulous. I hope you lot are doing excellent. Ah, oh, thank you for asking me. Thank you. I appreciate it. I feel so loved. I'm doing great. I'm doing amazing. I'm doing I'm fantabulous. I'm doing excellent. Thank you. I'm doing excellento. Thank you for asking. I appreciate it. So today we're going to talk about hurt. Hurt. It hurts me to say that we're going to talk about hurt. Cool. So look at the look at the word flips. He a rapper, rapper. But anyway, now. Nah. So hurt is a big one. Hurt is a massive one. Hurt. We incur hurt on many different occasions in life. And it affects us in many different types of ways. Um, hurt normally is directly linked to trauma as well. Hurt is directly linked to um, many different experiences. Hurt is directly linked to pain. Hurt is directly linked to um, mental health. Hurt is directly linked to us physically, mentally, spiritually. Um, hurt is linked to family. Hurt is linked to relationships. Hurt is linked to love. Hurt is linked to so many different things. And it's crazy because when I think about all the things it's linked to, in terms of relationships, you, you, you might have had prior relationships that may have hurt you, damaged your heart, which in Hebrew means your subconscious. Um, and they all affect the subconscious. And it proves something to me that's so crazy, which is it's so important to guard your heart because all the issues of life spring forth from your heart which in Hebrew means your subconscious, which is your mind, right? Which is in your mind. Cool. So all the things that it links to and stems to when it comes down to hurt, the, it's so important that you understand, first and foremost, the root of it, which caused the tree of hurt that you may be experiencing now, or the tree of hurt that your family may be experiencing now, or the tree of hurt that your boyfriend, girlfriend, spouse, um husband, wife, etc., etc., could be experiencing at this moment in time. A lot of times people don't sort that out normally. A lot of times, firstly, with certain hurts, they need tr the healing can come through being exposed to what maybe you may not have thought about for a long time, which may be there, but someone else has to expose it to you. Someone else has to um, pick it out from your conversation and from your dialogue and from certain conversations that you have. That's why therapy is important. I advise therapy for hurt. But I also advise therapy, I advise godly therapy, and I also advise therapy that leads you to bring the hurts back down to God. Because if you don't humble yourself and bring down your hurts and your issues and your pain and your scars that you hide, hide under nice clothes, hide under nice shades, hide under nice earrings or hats or whatever the case, or weave or nice hair or nice nails or et cetera, et cetera, normally you can't get healed from them. A lot of times it's a process to the healing. And a lot of times we don't talk about hurt with the understanding that one of the way, one of the things that come with hurt, one of the ways to actually heal some of the hurts we experience is forgiveness. Forgiveness is actually a medicine to hurt. Forgiveness is actually a um, syrup to hurt. It's actually, a, it's actually a thing that can cover hurts. And it can change your perspective on hurt. So if you got hurt by an ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend um, or any of those types of hurt by family members, when you forgive them, and when I say forgive, that means continual because forgiveness is continual. It has to be continual forgiveness. I forgive them because some things remind you. You might have experienced something the next day that reminds you of that thing you just forgave somebody for. And you've got to make a continual choice to forgive again and again and again and again and again and again and again. Because as you keep forgiving, forgiveness is for you. It's to heal your inward and internal hurt. It's to heal your external hurt, because you might have got external hurt from abuse, etc., etc., etc. It's to heal your internal hurt. People think forgiveness is more about the other person, but no, it's actually about you. Because normally you carry a hurt from forgiveness. Unforgiveness, the prerequisite of unforgiveness is normally hurt. And that's why it's so important, so important, so important to know what the solution and the medicines are for hurt, but also to identify if there's unforgiveness, that's one of the key things causing it, causing hurt, or is, un or is unforgiveness the prerequisite that you're dealing with, which is hurt. 